Welcome back to Studio 90. Now it's time to go 1v1 with U.S. midfielder Stuart Holden. Stuart, I know you've been preparing long and hard for this interview. Well, I didn't really have to prepare much because anything 1v1 versus you is uh, usually a pretty guaranteed win. I hear that a lot. All right, Stuart, let's get into it straight away. Born in Scotland, moved to the U.S. and chose to be a, became a U.S. citizen. What was it like for you the first time you represented the United States? Uh, it was an extreme amount of pride, you know, because I'd never represented a country at the national level. And, uh, you know, I felt after moving here at age 10 that, you know, my loyalties lie with the U.S. And, uh, you know, so to put on the jersey the first time and on July 4th even was was even even greater feeling. Obviously, you've got the Scottish roots deep into your family. What's better now, your Scottish accent or your Texas accent? Well, normally I speak with a Texas accent, but as everyone knows, I'm a bit of a chameleon, so I can speak like a Scot as well if I need to. We might have to get translation on that one. <laughs> and when was the last time you wore your kilt? Uh, just the other day for a sh photography thing for the Scottish newspaper. I think you might actually be Scottish. <laughs> I'm telling you what. What's, uh, what's on the iPod these days? Um... A lot of different stuff. Uh, obviously, I, you know, I like relaxing music, oldies for when I'm just hanging out. But before games, a lot of rap and a lot of uh, house music that kind of gets my head bumping a bit like this. Yeah? No? Okay. <laughs> so what takes longer then for you to get pumped up listening to your iPod or getting your hair ready before a game? That's a tough question. I mean, if if, uh, if I've just had a haircut, it's pretty easy to do the hair. I'd say 30 seconds tops. But, I mean, if my hair's getting a little longer and hair pieces start flying all over the place, then it can be a bit of a mission. What was your greatest moment on the soccer field and what was your greatest accomplishment off the field? I think for me, it's kind of a split between scoring in the Olympics against Japan in the, the opening game and, and then scoring against Haiti to, uh, to tie it up in the Gold Cup because that's probably the, I'd consider the greatest goal I've scored in my career so far and uh, you know, hopefully there'll be many more. You also had a couple good moments against Honduras in the Gold Cup. Are you looking forward to, to playing against them again? Yeah, I'm really looking forward this time on uh, a bit more of a bigger stage. You could say, you know, the, the Gold Cup was a good win for us. Um, and then now, to, obviously, if we can get a win on Saturday, we will qualify us for the World Cup. And, uh, you know, so hopefully I can provide uh, some kind of assists or goals and, or anything to, to help us win. Tell us something we don't know about Ricardo Clark and Brian Ching. Okay, uh, Ricardo Clark is a space cadet, and by that I mean he never really knows what's going on at any time of the day. Um, and he eats a turkey and avocado sandwich probably twice every day for the, his whole life. Brian Ching, he w loves to eat. I think that's no secret. He'll eat cookies uh, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Anything sweet, he loves to eat. And uh, other than that, yeah, he's, he's fat. <laughs> That one's going to hurt. <laughs> What's the food that you could eat every day for the rest of your life? Well, I just killed Ching for being a candy lover, but I love candy, and uh, I could eat chocolate anytime, anywhere. But I'm not fat like Brian. Do you think you could have been better than Mike Myers playing Shrek? Oh, yeah. Donkey. Right, donkey. Yeah, I've got, I could do the Scottish accent. I've been asked to do it many times, and the, the fat guy from uh, Austin Powers... Uh, I've, I've been known to do that one as well. You do a good fat bastard? Yeah. All right. I haven't seen my willy in two years. That's part of it. So, yeah, I'm a bit of a... I can do any kind of deep Scottish accent anytime, anywhere, especially if the ladies like it. Do you always fit this much during interviews? Uh, no, only in Miami. When uh, And this time it's not because of nerves. I mean, this is just pure Miami heat. Uh, you'd think you'd get used to it a little bit from living in Houston, but not at all. What's life after soccer going to be for Stuart Holden? Uh, movie star, for sure. I mean, I'm going to be on the big screen. How can you not have this, these highlights on there, you know? Me and Brad Pitt, we're going to be kicking it up, sipping Mai Tais on the beach in uh, L.A. One word to describe Stuart Holden, humility. <laughs> Stuart, thanks for going 1v1. No problem, Michael. I think you lost this battle. We'll be back with more of Studio 90.